looking back on the thing. Good morning. So it is, oh Lord, the beginning of week 32, which means we are eight weeks in to our semaglutide compound journey. And this week is going to be a little weird. Um, so I'm going to be going to California, uh, my husband and I both are, to go to my nephew's wedding, which is very exciting. Um, but it also means the week is going to be kind of thrown off from our normal routine. So um, we'll, I'll be home today's Monday, um, Tuesday and Wednesday, and I'm going to be just prepping my little butt off to get whatever ready I need to get ready <clears throat> to head out to California. And then I'm going to be, we're going to be flying out Thursday morning at like the butt crack of dawn. Um, I think we have to get up, we have to leave at like 3.45 in the morning to make it to our flight. Normally the Austin airport is pretty like tame, but lately they've been having all these news announcements that you need to be there at least two and a half to three hours before your flight, even if you're not checking bags. So I'm not super thrilled about that, <laughs> but I mean, it is what it is. It's. I mean, we have a nonstop flight, so travel time really isn't that bad. Um, just kind of stinks to have to get to the airport that early in the morning. But um, so we're going to be flying out early Thursday morning and we won't be back until Tuesday of next week, late Tuesday. So we're going to be gone for about six days. Um, and then next week we will be back to our normal routine come Wednesday. So um I'm, I mean, I, I've, I've already been to California once since starting WeGoVi, so I kind of already know what to expect. Uh, last time, if you missed my last travel vlog, I'll put the link up here, but um, last time I just did intuitive eating. I didn't track my calories or anything like that. And I plan on pretty much doing the same thing this time. Um, it's just too hard when other people are in charge of your food and when you're eating out a lot to try and like really track everything that you eat. Plus, I mean, every once in a while, it's good for me to do these forays into intuitive eating because ultimately long term, that's what I plan to do. I don't want to track calories for the rest of my life. So the whole point of this is to try and repair my relationship with food so that I can eat like a normal person. Um, so uh, that's pretty much what's going on. So um, if you haven't seen any of these compound videos since I started taking the semaglutide compound as opposed to the Wegovi, um, I went through several iterations of trying to find out the best way to take the compound because my compound, I have a rapid dissolve sublingual tablet, which means you stick it underneath your tongue and wait for it to dissolve. But when I tried, <clears throat> excuse me, when I tried just sticking the tablet under my tongue and letting it dissolve, it was not a good scene. So the thing that we have found that works the best is crushing the tablet up into a powder like these and then I put <clears throat> some liquid under my tongue just like a sip of water and then I kind of pour the powder underneath my tongue and put some more water in the spoon to dissolve whatever's left and stick that under my tongue and I hold it under my tongue for about five minutes which is how long the pharmacist at the compound pharmacy said is the optimal amount of time to keep it under your tongue the reason you keep it under your tongue is because it's actually absorbed directly into your bloodstream through the bottom of your tongue instead of swallowing it where your stomach acid will destroy a good portion of the drugs. <clears throat> I'm sorry if you hear my voice doing weird things. My allergies do this thing from time to time where I'll get dust in my nose and then it feels like I'm suffocating. I'm not. I'm fine. It's just it sounds weird when I talk. Anyway, so I'm going to go ahead and take this semaglutide compound and um, I let it sit, as I said, under my tongue for five minutes, and then I just swallow whatever's left. And that's the best way I've found to get it into my system. And when I take it that way, it feels pretty much the same as we go we did when I was on that. So um, in terms of the, you know, keeping me full for longer and um, all that good stuff. So that's it for today. I'm going to kind of take y'all along as much as I can this week over these next three days, but I have a feeling it's not going to be very exciting because I'm going to be doing a lot of cleaning my house for the dog sitter that's coming to stay with Helios and, you know, just random stuff like that. It also means I'm going to be doing my weigh-in two days earlier than I normally do, so we'll see what kind of results I have because I'm not going to be I'm not going to be able to take my scale with me to California, and I'm not going to try to worry about doing all of that in California anyway, so... 
I'm going to be weighing it on Wednesday instead of Friday this week. Um, so we shall see how that goes. <laughs> anyway, yeah, I had a total brain fart for a second. I think that's just indicative of how today and the rest of this week is going to be. <laughs> I will see you guys soon. Bye. Suddenly there you were, it was bright blue eyes. We were conversing in the night sky. When you took my hand and let me in. Okay, well that's the best pedicure I've had in a real long time. If you're in the Round Rock, Texas area, <laughs> ask for Grace at the Butterfly Nail Bar and the ATB Shopping Center. Anyway, I uh, had a little non-scale victory in there. Um, it's been a while since I've had a pedicure, probably, well, I mean, it's only been a couple of months, I guess, since February, so like three months. Uh, but. I, I mean, I've never, anytime I've ever gotten a pedicure, when they do the part where they do the paraffin and then they put the hot towels on your legs, the towels have never stretched around my legs. Like they've always had to do weird origami <laughs> to make the towels stay on. And the towel went all the way around my leg, like barely, but still. So that was awesome. That was a fun, unexpected non-scale victory today. So Hey y'all, so we made it through week 32, and, but relatively unscathed, and uh, <laughs> I mean, it's a very short week this week um, in terms of the video. Um, you're going to see my California trip next week, so be sure to stay tuned for that. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, so obviously I didn't really have a ton to report this week. Um, in terms of non-scale victories, pretty much the only one is that I've had a very busy last few days and I had a ton of energy. I don't know where it came from or how I got it, but I definitely had all the energy I needed to get through all of the things that needed to be done and then some. I mean, obviously I had some moments where I was feeling tired and everything, but I, I really had a lot to get through <laughs> over the last several days and I got through all of it. So that was awesome. Um, no new side effects to report. I know that part is getting boring to hear, but I guess my body is just used to it at this point. Um, so really the only thing I have to report this week is my results, which were very exciting. Um, in these five days, so like since last Friday, because I'm weighing in two days early, um, I lost 3.2 pounds, <laughs> and which brings my total to 75.1 pounds overall. So we hit that 75 pound mark, which is very, very exciting for me. Um, and it means that for our second month on the compound, we've lost 5.4 pounds. Am I disappointed in that? Yes. Um, but it kind of just seems to be the way things are going on this compound. Um, I'm still not giving up though. I know we've talked for this, you know, several weeks about how I'm planning on switching back to the injectable version. So we'll see how that does for me, if that gets into my system better or, you know, what, what the dealio is. Um, in addition to the weight loss, 
Um, in the last four weeks, I also lost a quarter of an inch off of my waist and a half inch from my hips. I also lost more variously like throughout, but that's, that's kind of where what I did in the last four weeks, just in my waist and my hips, my bust measurement or my chest measurement stayed the same. Um, so again, guys, I really, really appreciate you watching these videos. Sometimes I have no idea why, because I feel like I'm a hot mess when I edit these, but you know, it is what it is. Um, we had a huge spike in views from last Friday's video. I don't know where they came from, but for those of you who are new, welcome. Thank you for taking the time to watch my videos. I hope that they are helpful for you. And I think that's it. Anyway, I hope you all have an awesome week and I will see you in the next one. Bye.